Welcome to the Gas Badge Pro Online Training Module number 4. In this module, I will be discussing how to calibrate the Gas Badge Pro. Industrial Scientific has a calibration policy, and what that policy states is that gas detection instruments are life-saving devices. Recognizing this fact, Industrial Scientific Corporation recommends that a full calibration be performed using certified concentrations of industrial scientific calibration gases monthly to ensure maximum accuracy. Before every calibration, the user must zero the instrument. To zero the instrument, they must first press the up button until they see this screen, showing a zero with a slasher blinking. Once the user sees the zeroing screen, they must press the enter button. Once the enter button is pressed, the zero with a slash through it will stop blinking and the clock symbol will appear and start to flash. As soon as the instrument is done zeroing the sensor, the user will see this screen on the right showing the calibration gas bottle icon as well as the calibration span set point. What the user must do is make sure that this number is the same value as the value that is on the calibration gas bottle being used. As long as that value is the same, the user can apply the calibration gas and press the enter button. Once the user has pressed the enter button with the calibration gas flowing, the user will see that a clock symbol appears, letting the user know that the instrument is currently calibrating. During the calibration, the user will see the numbers rise, and after a little bit of time, the number should begin to level off. After the instrument is done calibrating and passed, the Gas Badge Pro will then emit a short beep and give the user a check mark, like pictured here on the right. And then after the user gets the check mark, the instrument will revert back to the real-time operation screen. If the calibration failed, the user will see an exclamation point shown in the screen on the right. As well as passing calibration, the failed calibration will revert back to the real-time operation screen and be in continuous alarm. When the user calibrates the Gas Badge Pro, the instrument will then let them know whether or not the sensor passed or failed. If the sensor passes, demonstrating a full span of at least 50% of the applied cal gas, showing a check mark, then the sensor installed is strong and should provide accurate readings. This sensor does not need to be replaced. If the user gets an exclamation mark, just like the one you see here, this means that the sensor failed demonstrating a full span reading of less than 50% of the applied cal gas and the sensor needs to be replaced prior to use. In this video I'm going to show you how to calibrate the oxygen sensor within a Gas Badge Pro. With the calibration gas value set at 20.9 which is fresh air you're going to press the up button and you're going to see the calibration gas bottle icon flashing in the lower left hand corner of the screen. From there press the enter button and you'll see the clock symbol flashing. After that you'll see the full span value. This is just a calculation that lets you know how much life you have left in that sensor. After a certain period of time that sensor will start to level off. It will then show you the check mark in the upper left hand corner and then the instrument will emit a short beep. Once the calibration is done the instrument will go back into the real-time operation screen and your calibration of the oxygen sensor within the Gas Badge Pro is finished. In this video, I'm going to show you how to calibrate a toxic sensor within the Gas Badge Pro. To begin with, you want to press the up button once, showing the zero with a slasher of blinking. With this symbol blinking, you're going to press the enter button, and you'll notice the clock symbol blinking. This means that the instrument is actually zeroing the sensor. Once the zeroing process is finished, you'll notice in the upper left hand corner a check mark and the instrument will emit a short beep. From there, the instrument is going to show you a calibration gas value. Make sure that that calibration gas value is the same that's on your bottle. Open up the regulator and apply your cow cup. After a period of time, you'll notice that it's going to give you a full span reading 
and the full span reading is just a calculation to let you know how much life you have left in that sensor. That sensor is going to start to level off and once that sensor is finished calibrating you'll see a check mark in the upper left hand corner and the instrument will also emit a short beep. Once the calibration is finished you'll want to take off the cal cup, close the regulator, and the instrument will then Go back in the real-time operation screen and your calibration is now finished.